Hi, what do you prefer? A plate of food or this toy? The toy. Okay, Thanks. take... Hi, little friend. Hi. How are you? Fine. Hey, look, today I have a proposal for you. What do you prefer? A toy or a plate of food? A plate of food. A plate of food? And why do you want the plate of food? Because my dad taught me that food is more important than a toy. Is that what your dad taught you? Yes. Well, congratulations. Look, in that case, let me give you this nice plate of food. If you want, leave the broom there so you can grab it. Where's your dad? He's inside working. He's working inside? Can you talk to him? Yes. Daddy! What's up? Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Look, sir, I hope you won't take this the wrong way. I gave the boy a little plate of food. Thank you, but no, it's, we cannot accept it. No, why? Look, please, I do it with all my heart. Please take it. We don't need it. Thank you. Excuse me for being so insistent, but the child seems to be hungry. Please take it. You're right. Thanks. Thank you very much for accepting it. Don't be suspicious. Look, what I really shocking is that I told your son what he preferred. Whether this toy or a plate of food. I was very moved because he chose the food. I am surprised because he has very good values. Because he says that you instilled in him that a plate of food is more important than material things. And the truth is, well, I was very shocked. I mean, I know you're working, but I don't know if you has the opportunity to give me five minutes to talk a little bit. Just a little bit. Yes, I won't take up too much of your time. Ah, uh, well, yes, yes. Come over here a little bit, here in the in shade. In the shade? Thank you very much. Well, I really congratulate you for the values you are instilling in your son. Well, thank you. I have told him not to accept gifts from strangers. But, well, thank you. No, nothing to thank. Hey, friend, a question. Do you live here or do you work here? No, 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 I work here. Suddenly, I get a little job from time to time, and right now I got one here. Let's do it, right? Ah, uh, okay, look. It caught my attention as I saw the boy who was sweeping outside. I thought you lived here. No, 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 no. The thing is that, well, it's just me and him. And, well, sometimes I have no one to leave him with, so I bring him here. And then he starts helping me and so on, right? Suddenly he starts playing. I just don't have anyone to leave him with. My friend, you seem a bit anxious. Everything all right? Well, no, I'm just surprised. About, about the food, it's just that, well, nobody ever supports us and helps us. And this... Well, it seems to me something... something nice, right? Well, no, no, nothing to thank. On the contrary, thanks to you. Because, as I told you, you're injecting very good values. But why do you say that nobody supports you? Are you in any situation? Anything you need? I tell you that I feel you and I see you a little sad. Look, as I said, it's just me and him. And his mom... She passed away a year ago. And she... She was pregnant. The truth is, it really hurt me a lot. I'm really sorry. And, and well, I had a lot of problems with alcohol because I got very depressed. I didn't pay attention to my son anymore. Easy, buddy. Take it easy. Okay, get that feeling out. Well, it's, it's very small, isn't it? And he got sick. He got sick. He fell in the hospital and almost died. What a sadness. And he's all I have, right? That's when I thought about it. I came to my senses. I was more attentive to him. I stopped drinking. I stopped everything. I congratulate you, I my friend. I thank God a lot because he gave me a second chance, my friend. I tell you, it's just me and him, and sometimes I have to go out to work to give him something to eat, right? And you bring him up and down with you? What else, right? And that's how we live. Here we keep on giving it our best, right, my friend? No, but that speaks very well of you, and I congratulate you because... because it is never too late to take back the reins of... your life. The truth is that it takes a lot of courage to recognize and to get back on track. 
and he is not studying right now? It's just that he comes with me to work and, well, no, no. No, he doesn't. I do want to. Yes, I do. I really do. And, well, I'm looking forward to it. To, well, to be able to, to get him into school so he won't be like me. And, well, the truth is that I do feel, well, sometimes I feel kind of helpless, don't you? That you can't find a way out. Exactly. Sometimes I think, why God? As people say, God squeezes but doesn't hang. But I think, God, please help me a little, just a little. At least help my son, I don't matter. Well, sometimes I can stand my hunger and all that, but, well, he's small. I know that sometimes we are in situations in life where you say, and now, how do I go on? You don't find any more sense. You don't find any more direction. But what I can assure you is that you are not alone. You are not alone and sometimes God sends you the signs and they are right in front of you. But because we are so worried and so tense, we don't pay attention to the signs that God is sending us. Sometimes you just have to look in front of you and there's the sign. Yes. No, my friend, but sometimes it's, it's a little bit tired, isn't it? See, after my wife and, well, my baby. Well, recently I got I got sick, my friend, in my kidneys. I can't work like this sometimes. Okay. But I, well, I have to, don't I? Well, it's just me and him, and it's not. And how are you managing your treatment? Well, I'm just holding on. No, why? Well, I'll suck it up, man. What else can I do? You are not treating yourself, my friend. Well, yes, with some doctor friends that I know, from some of the houses where I've worked, they have checked me, but the medications are very expensive because... Can't afford them? No, well, sometimes it scares me, imagine. What will happen to you if something happens to me? But you have to be strong. Look, you bring a lot of energy, a lot of vibe, a lot of light. As I tell you, and as I told you right now, sometimes you just have to raise your head a little bit. And there is the answer. I know that God is going to send you an opportunity. He is going to send you a reward. Because he is seeing that you are trying too hard. No, well, now also now. They just told us that they are going to, that we have to leave the house. We're in a small room. And well, and they already told us that we have to leave. Because sometimes I am late with my payments. They don't want us to be there anymore. Now, as they say, it's raining on your parade. Don't worry, my friend. Have faith. I know that maybe you are thinking, well, it's very easy for you to say, isn't it? Just have faith, but I know God is going to send you a good reward. Well, look, I, I tell to my son that God is everything, that he will listen to us. Of course. That we have an angel over there who will take care of us, who is with us, two angels. That's right. There is no other option but to give it a try. Thank you very much for the plate of food. Really, really, my friend. That... On the contrary, as I told you just now, I thank you because your son taught me a lesson with those great values. Look at the situation you're in and everything you've been through and everything you're going through. For example, you still focused on the right path. You know you're doing the right things. You haven't fallen into temptations. That speaks very well of you. I made a mistake, I deviated for a while. And my son almost ended up paying for my mistakes. But look, thank God he's already here healthy, and you are by his side. And as I, I tell you, God is going to send you a reward. You just have to have faith. Thank you, my friend. Look, the truth is, I don't know how you're going to take it. What I am going to tell you. I hope you don't take it the wrong way. But what I really do is to do social experiments. What is that? Well, take it easy. Don't bother. That's what social experimenting is all about, my friend. Looking for people like you, with a good heart, with good values, good principles, good food, just like your kid. And so the truth is this. I would like to reward you today, if I may. 
How? Well, are you a believer in God? Yes. Well, there are no coincidences. I tell you that sometimes God sends you opportunities or blessings, or whatever you want to call it. And you just have to raise your eyes a little bit to the front. If you allow me, today I have two rewards that can help you. Both emotionally and so that you can stabilize yourselves a little bit. And I would like to support them wholeheartedly, if you allow me. But how? Look, my friend. If you allow me, today I have two surprises for you. Just please, I need you to ask your boss for permission. Give you a chance for five, ten minutes that we won't be long. Just ten, ten, fifteen minutes? We're not minutes? late. Look, I know that your employer is going to leave you. You can see she's very kind-hearted. How do you see? Look, let's go, and now we'll take a little plate of food. Yeah? Okay, fine. Come on, then. Well, my friend, like we were talking about back there, you are about to receive two surprises. The first one, your boy had it right in his hands. Food? What's inside the plate? Open it. What does it say? A uh, house. House? What do you imagine when you read that? I don't know. Look, can you turn that way? Here are some keys. These keys are for you, and that house is for you. It is. Yes, it is. Please take them. Of course, man. Are you serious? Of course I'm serious. Look, please go ahead. Come on, come on, so you can see it, please. Yes? Yes, look. If you want, I'll hold it for you. Come in, please. This is for you. Please. Easy, my friend. Thank you very much. No, nothing to... nothing to thank. You deserve it, my friend. You we deserve it. We already have a house, son. We have a house. Are you happy, kiddo? Do you like it? You and your daddy are going to have a house. My friend, I really... I don't know how to repay you for this. No, just go ahead and be happy and take care of your son. Let me give you a hug. Of course you can. Thank you, thank you very much. Oh, my son. But remember, there's still another surprise inside. There is still another surprise. My God, that's a lot. This no, no! Is more than enough. Come on, please. Come on! Come in, please. Please come in. Come into your new home. What do you think? What do you think, buddy? What's that? That's your second surprise. All that? All that's for you. That's a lot of money, isn't it? That's what you deserve, man. That's for you, so you can get your son back on his feet. Please, so you can get your kidney problem. 
The problem you have with your kidneys. Now I am really happy to see you crying with happiness. Take it. That money is yours, please. Take it. Come on. Go ahead. Thank you very much. Nothing to thank. It's yours, my son. It's yours. Are you happy? Yes, very, very much. I'm very glad. I'm very happy. Seriously, this is what you are doing? My God, it's a miracle. Thank you very much, my friend. Hey, uh, and why us? Does the name Marta ring a bell? Yes, she's the lady I'm working for right now. Yeah, that's your employer. She took it upon herself to contacting us and tell us your story. Your employer is also very kind-hearted. Thank you. No, nothing to thank. Please take your money and enjoy it, and move on to your new home. There is no doubt that God is with us. Of course he is. Can we? Sure, it's yours. Go ahead. <laughs> 